We have two extraordinary collections of maps from two very important Louisiana estates. Today we're going to look at a few of those highlights. This map right here is perhaps the crowning jewel, the Norman's map of the lower Mississippi drawn after Adrian Persak's survey. This is considered the most important map of the region by collectors and historians alike. It is the only map that charts all the plantations on the Mississippi from Natchez down to New Orleans on both banks. It's a rare snapshot of the antebellum South just two years before the Civil War broke out. In 1938, the Baton Rouge advocate estimated that only eight or 10 of them remained intact. Only three have ever come to auction that we know of, and only four that were knowingly are conserved in private and public institutions. The most notable of all is Louisiana Supreme Court, which still actively uses this map to settle land disputes. This map represents a scarce opportunity for the discerning collector to own both a part of history and a veritable work of art by one of the most important artists of the mid-19th century. This right here is Norman's Plan of New Orleans. It is a very important map from the middle of the 19th century, just before the Civil War. It is important because of its historic significance, also the inclusion of all the detail. It is also one of the few complete maps. It comes with the actual binding from which the original map was placed, along with the 223-page tour guide, which is very unusual. In the guide, Everything is detailed that is delineated on the map. What makes this map so unique and interesting is the division of the city into three parts, which you can clearly see right here. This reflects the division of the city into three municipalities that were divided along French Creole and Anglo boundaries in 1836. And they remain divided until 1852. This fine map is a stunning example of early cartography in the United States along the Mississippi River. It was commissioned in 1679-1680 by de La Salle and Father Louis Hennepin, who accompanied him from Quebec down the Mississippi River into the Illinois and also Louisiana territories. They actually charted the Great Lakes and most of the Mississippi, which comes down through here. And what makes this map so, so interesting, it's one of the first of its kind. This was published in 1698. But as you can see, it is grossly inaccurate in terms of its scale. The Great Lakes are very large and sit almost on top of Kentucky. And the Mississippi River goes through Texas, and there is no New Orleans or Lake Pontchartrain. But it was one of the first examples to actually chart pictorially of the new territories. This right here is Guillaume de Lille's monumental map of Louisiana and the Gulf Coast. It is the most important map of the 18th century because it was the first to accurately chart the Gulf Coast in terms of latitude and longitude and became the mother of all maps in terms of 18th century cartography. It's also very important because it was designed before the Treaty of Utrecht, which shows a Spanish claim to the New World as it was ceded to the French by the Duke of Anjou. This map, along with Adrian Persak's map of the plantations, is one of the most important maps of the region to be offered at auction in many years. This right here is Darby's pivotal map of Louisiana. It is pivotal for two reasons. First and foremost, it was the first of its kind to accurately chart the entire state of Louisiana. Not just the southeast corners, the bayous, the soundings, the river, but also importantly the southwest. Before Darby, early maps of Louisiana, there was nothing in the Southwest, nothing along the Texas borders. They called it terra incognita. The second reason this map is so very important is that after almost 10 years of surveying the state of Louisiana and covering more than 2,000 miles on foot, Darby went to go publish the map, but the War of 1812 broke out. Instead, he offered both his map and his services to the United States Army. He became topographical advisor to General Andrew Jackson. Jackson relied heavily on this map, which he testified before Congress as the most reliable map. It became very important for both the Battle of New Orleans, the victory of New Orleans, and after the defense of New Orleans. These are just a few of the exciting works you'll find at New Orleans auction galleries.